and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today i'm going to show you guys how to play those really annoying mkv files that when you play it always have some sort of problem with your player so first we're going to test it or show you what happens if you play with other players for example the inbuilt player that windows gives you now this one like it loads it and it plays the sound but it doesn't play the video it asks you to pay in order to buy something to support it now i am poor so i'm not going to do that buying is just nah so we're going to skip this one completely because that's like what what a dollar <laughs> anyways so let's continue on to the next one which should be i think vlc now vlc plays it but if your PC is not strong enough, which mine definitely isn't, your whole PC lags and it has this whole glitchy thing that con goes on and it's just a whole bugger of things trying to actually get this thing to close again. Like, this is just terrible, so VLC doesn't work either. Next up is Windows Media Player, which can't play it at all, it plays the music at least. Like the background sound but we don't want that since it's anime and stuff we want to actually watch what happens so i don't recommend using this either now there's this one app that i use now i have pretty to automatically um start when i try and open an mkv file because it plays extremely smooth on my four gigabyte ram no video card pc so it is this app right here now I will probably put a link in the description to where you can download it. It's free, if I'm correct. Most likely, it's free. And you can just go to choose another app. And you should see this app here. It's not the same name, but it is the actual app that you can use in order to run it or to run your thing. And just always allow it. And then once you open it up, it plays really, really, really smooth. Just make sure you like have 50% of your RAM still open like open task manager and just close all the background stuff me right now is because i'm filming and my pc is extremely slow so it doesn't really have anything to run it with its ram is completely dead so i'd say have at least four gigs of ram on your pc and you should be able to play this perfectly i just recommend removing the subtitles if you watch in dub because sometimes the subtitles can mess a little bit with the how everything works but this plays it actually really smooth and i highly recommend it to anyone who has mkb files that you want to play i hope this video helped you guys thank you all for watching link will probably be in the description see you all in the next video